witch hunt. Do you want the return of the witch hunts of burning witches? Absolutely no. So the Enlightenment Project and Scientific Revolution tried to get rid of all superstitious belief systems. Superstition meaning unprofessional wishful thinking, folk magic, brutalization of learned magic and the philosophy that guided many throughout centuries. Now the issue is that both the Enlightenment project and the scientific revolution didn't take into account that these objective realities of the invisible exist and that they will invade the human world, human lives, anyway, sooner or later. The purpose was to atheize people for them to gain reason, not to believe in superstitions. But the effect was the compromise, compromitation of every learned science of magic and philosophy that is ignored as the last magicians of rational thought. So when enlightenment and scientific revolution failed to incorporate those particular phenomena into well-ordered theology, metaphysics, hermetics of any kind. That's where the problem begins, because nowadays all sorts of fringe New Age groups, all sorts of belief systems, and people need to believe something even if it's complete nonsense, are coming to the fore, creating cognitive chaos, creating a mess of human minds, souls, hearts. So, what every magician of rational thought is trying to do is to convey those truths about invisible forces visible to some in order to put hermetica into it to organize it so that people won't be lost in it completely because every atheist post enlightenment post scientific revolution claiming that this is not a demon haunted world, that there is nothing to it, means that he directly didn't experience this. Just like psychiatrists, if they didn't experience, they may nihilate the experience from the sociological perspective speaking, or rationalize it, explaining to themselves that it was a hallucination, for example. Now, it is not to convince people that such worlds exist, it's giving them tools how to cope with them, if they experience them. So, the main point is that the Abrahamic religions, by their illogicality, irrationality, compromised rational, reasoned metaphysics of the heathens, of the Hindus, of the Buddhists. And when this collapsed and the Enlightenment and scientific revolution went straight in, the prime empiricism, the naive mat materialism, the reductionism of it all, it effectuated in a complete disaster. Because metaphysics was compromised, and people who are walking with reasoned learned magic are mocked away because the Enlightenment and Scientific Revolution explained to the people that there are no such things. People experience them, but they hallucinate, so they are psychiatrized. So they nihilated back to what they know. We have two menaces of the modern world. The comprom compromitation of metaphysics and the annulation of all metaphysics at the same time. Thank you.